Mark Ludwig from the Allegan Conservation District out frost seeding with Wes Copes. We're uh, in a winter wheat field. We got our little spin seed here on the back. And we're flying red clover just as the last of the snow is going away. And then the freeze and thaw action the next uh, week or so will work that seed down onto the ground. And we'll have a nice crop of red clover coming under the uh, wheat. to do the frost seeding when you got just a little bit of snow left you can see that seed land a little better at least that's a theory right Russ that's a theory, that's a theory. The seed is yeah now for frost seeding you want a generally you want a hard seed like a legume seed uh, most grass seed doesn't frost seed real well and you also want to have a little bit heavier soil it really doesn't work very well on sandy soils at all Take a quick look at the soil conditions we've got in here. This is about as perfect as you get for frost seeding. And it's a little difficult to see, but here we've got our seed. And if you see my finger on there, that ground's moist with some moisture, but it's frozen down about an eighth, quarter inch. Today during the day, this nice sunny day, that'll thaw. But then tonight, when it refreezes, that freezing action is actually enough to heave that, uh, that seed down into the soil, sufficient for germination. Doesn't work for every seed. You need a small, hard seed, like a clover seed or other legume seed. Not so effective with grass, but any small, hard seed will generally uh, frost seed pretty well. Got to have a little clay content to the soil. This is not something you can really uh, count on on sandy soils. Really not effective. Anyway, that's frost seeding. All right, Wes is departing. We're just having a look at his rig here. Just a simple uh, slinging type spin seeder he used to put that uh, clover seed on this morning. And I like to tell farmers if you're going to do this frost seeding, do it when there's still a little frost on the or a little snow on the ground. A couple reasons for that. Number one reason is. You don't miss the window. Number one thing people do wrong on this is they try to get out here and frost seed Well, there's no frost anymore. The other nice thing is, and this may not come through, if you look closely you can see the seeds on the ground and it's a whole whale of a lot easier to see those seeds when there's a nice white cover on the snow. I mean, what nice white cover of snow on the ground. So I think we hit this just about perfectly. It's Mark Ludwig, Allegan Conservation District.